Hey guys, it's Moonlander back with another horror movie review. And today we're going to be looking at a new Australian horror movie called Killing Grounds. <laughs> Now this was written and directed by a Damien Power and I rented this in the new releases section on Amazon. So this movie is about a couple that goes out camping for New Year's. On their way there they stop at a pub to buy some champagne so I guess they can celebrate uh, on New Year's Eve. And the boyfriend is looking at a map trying to figure out exactly where this campground is that he wants to go. And a local man happens to be pulled up alongside him and he asks him if he could help direct him to this campsite. And he suggests that he goes to another one. And whether he actually picks one or the other... I. It was never really clear to me, but anyway, they arrived to this campsite, and there's a vehicle there in the parking area, and they decide to go ahead and walk into the camp area. And when they get there, it's a beach alongside a river. It's beautiful. Pretty much how I remember it, except for the tent. There's plenty of room. We can set up over here. And there's a campsite already set up there on the beach. But nobody's inside of it. Um, and the beach is big enough that they go ahead and decide to set up their own campsite. And, you know, just meet these people later. Now, as the movie goes on, you get flashbacks of the family that was staying at this campsite that's presently unattended. Who's that, Ali? Boo. Oh. Who do you think they are? No idea. I'm sure they'll turn up. So the things I liked about this movie is I did like the way that the storytelling was done with the flashbacks of the family that was missing um, in revealing the story of what happened to them. And it also threw in some parts kind of introducing these two guys that had something to do with their disappearance. And I think it was kind of a fresh approach to uh, a type of movie that, you know, you've seen time and time again. Now, I will say my favorite part of this movie was uh, there was one scene where the child is left alive uh, from this missing family, and it's a toddler. And there was one shot where they were gathering their things to leave in their car, and this little toddler is walking behind the woman as she's walking towards the camera, and it's, this kid doesn't make any noise. And it looks like he's been unattended for a couple days. And how they got this kid to look like that, I don't know. But it was a chilling scene. And I thought it was really done really well. So I found a little interview with the director uh, where he was talking about his influences and inspiration for this movie. And uh, he brought up about doing continuous shots to add suspense to the movie. We watched um, Deliverance, not so much for its kind of thematic content, but also about well, how, do you, how do you treat the daylight to, to give it that mood and that feel. And um, I think when we were watching that film, we were really surprised about how long they held the coverage. And so there was a lot of choreography in the frame. Um, and that was something that we were trying to do as well, you know, was to try and um, see how much we could get away with before we cut. Because I think that's, you know, that's part of you know, creating suspense. And immediately when I saw this, I immediately thought of that scene with the kid walking behind this woman. That was a really powerful shot right there. 
Okay, so the things I didn't like about this movie is the storyline as a whole. Uh, I mean, it's just been done so many times. And while the acting is decent all around and the writing for this movie, I think in order to stand out in this subgenre of horror, um, you need to have a, a standout performance. Preferably by the bad guys, which here these guys aren't all that interesting. They just seem like a couple of regular bad guys. And, or you could have the heroine, which that seems to be pretty typical of these movies, is, uh, you know, a woman, uh, you know, struggling and prevailing. Uh, you, you could have her have a standout performance if you got the actress in writing to do it. And it's just not really here with this one. It's all pretty standard and uh, nothing really stuck out about the characters. Okay, so my final thoughts on this movie is this is just maybe slightly more than your standard backwoods survival horror movie. Um, if you prefer these kinds of movies where uh, there's a couple of bad guys trying to rape and murder a woman, I, <laughs> you know, you might like this one, but at the same time, this is nowhere near an exploitation type of movie. Um, you know, there is some violence shown, but nothing too graphic or violent is shown in this movie. It's pretty tame as far as violence goes. But other than that, you know, I, I'm going to give this a 6 out of 10. Alright, you guys, thanks for watching, and I'll see you on the next one. Thank you.